Linda, thanks so much. It's no secret that health care costs continue to go up, and as they do, you're stuck with higher premiums, higher deductibles, more money out of pocket. Joining us this morning, Ken Horton with California Coast Credit Union, and we want to talk about that we are not completely powerless in terms of helping to mitigate those costs. Absolutely, and there are many ways that you can mitigate those costs by doing some homework and research. And uh, you know, the first thing you want to do, of course, is take a look at, just as you've indicated, the total cost of your medical care. So not just the premiums, but also the, any of the deductibles and the co-pays you have to pay for office visits and prescriptions and things like that. And then really take a look at the different types of uh, health care plans that are out there. And I know that when you're making these considerations, you also want to take a look at yourself and consider how much health care coverage do you need? Absolutely, because there are a wide variety of different health care plans that are out there, ranging from very, very basic types of plans to very comprehensive plans. So you want to take a look at your own situation and your own health and maybe your own uh, family history and how uh, you know other relatives of uh, how their health has been over time. And uh, it, for some people, a basic plan may be perfectly fine, but for others, uh, where you may be spending money on prescriptions, you might want to consider a more comprehensive plan. Right. I mean, it is a calculated risk because you don't know. I mean, if you take the minimal plan, you could be paying more if something catastrophic were to happen to you. But what you're doing is saying, all right, odds in my case or whatever may favor a more minimal plan because I'm pretty healthy at this stage of my life. And as you said, if you start to need more, well, then get the more expensive plan because you're going to use it. Uh, the other thing is, is when you go to the doctor and all of these tests are being ordered for whatever they may be looking into, ask a lot of questions. And this is a situation where you really need to be your own advocate for your own health care. So when a doctor is talking with you about uh, possible procedures or prescriptions, really engage the doctor and talk with him or her about the necessity of those procedures and you know, perhaps are there some alternatives available or if you're going to be put on a prescription, is a generic form of the prescription available? And sometimes that's a way to save a lot of money. And it's worth asking. I mean, health care is a business. It is, at the end and, of the you know, day. All right. Yes. So uh, this I thought was startling. Billing errors, 80% of the time. That's remarkable. It, now, are these billing errors always in favor of the institution or the medical center, or are they sometimes billing errors that go both ways? You know, more often than not, they uh, go against the patient and for the medical center. And uh, if you've ever seen a medical bill, th a lot of times there are pages and pages and pages of information and using terms that you've never seen before. So you really need to spend some time, if you get one of those bills, take a look at it. And if you have any questions at all, contact your doctor and question, you know, what was this expenditure for? Because a lot of times billing errors do happen because they are so complex. All right. And bottom line, Ken, is a California Coast Credit Union is about plan ahead, manage your finances, you'll get ahead. And for more information about that, you can go to the uh, website, which is, I thought I had written it down. Why don't you say it? Sure. It's uh, at calcoastcu.org. Okay. And when you get there, you can click on a link called Know and Plan to get you to some tips, not just about health care, but other ways that you can help to get your finances in order. Absolutely. Great consumer tips there, so uh, check it out. I'd encourage everybody to do that. Ken, pleasure to talk to you right. this morning. We'll see you again. Thank you, Jim.